What was your first impression of Jonathan? Big size. Yeah. That's all I can remember. Good morning, friends. Um, so today is somewhat a family day because we are bringing John's niece and nephew um, for Ice Magic. And we are also celebrating my mom's birthday. We wanted to talk about the relationship that we have with each other's family. So we have been married for six years. I personally feel that we never had a problem trying to integrate both family. I want to admit that I feel I'm closer to John's family than John is closer to my family. And I don't fault him. I never create enough opportunity for them to be close together. And the truth is, I'm also not very close with my family. La. I'm closer to John's family actually. Yeah, that's what I came out to say. <laughs> I wanted to talk about our family dynamics, whether we integrated well into each other's family. Um, so we're going to ask them some weird, awkward questions. I'm going to ask the kids and I'm going to ask her parents because that's who we're meeting today. Hello, birthday Hello. boy! It's to celebrate whose birthday? Mine. This is spawn number three. Ooh. This is spawn number one. Hello, spawn number one. This is spawn number two. Oh this is my family spawn number one. Are you worried that we are bringing them to a slightly dangerous event? No, not really. I already briefed her already. You should, she will take care of us. <laughs> we have now collected all the spawns. Yes, we're going to grab lunch at Ian's favourite place because today we are celebrating Ian's actually. birthday. Yes. Ian, what's your favourite food? Ding Tai Fung. Ding Tai Fung. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody punch anybody, okay? It's a violent household. Okay, I've been entrusted to bring the three of you to Ting Tai Fong. Just me, okay? Everybody feel good? Are you confident? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So far, so good. Hey, count check, correct? Hey, I'm not used to seeing the both of you all being so nice to each other. Oh, I see. You're attacking him. This two is one family, this one one family. They are from different planet one. What is going on, Ian Ong? Um, can we see it properly? Girls? Boy. Girls? Boy. He's leaving. Guys, guys. I have some questions for y'all about Appa. Are y'all ready? Do you like Appa? Yes. yes. Yes, right. If you have one word to describe Appa, what is Appa like? Excited. Excited, ah? He's very kind and happy. He always helps me and always explains why why when I have a question. Oh. He's like a bear. He's like a bear. So you describe bear, okay. Yeah, but a happy bear. Happy bear. Are you scared of Appa? No. Yes, a bit. A bit. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared. Oh, <laughs> is it because he's too loud? That's why you're scared. Yeah, and he also said that word. Oh. Which I don't like. Why are you a bit scared? Because right, he always scolds me when when like when when I cannot see the seatbelt. He angry me. Oh, you mean just now? And then, right, but a bit nice, and because he always bring me everywhere. That's fun. Uh, if Appa and Amma, right, don't want to have children, can you all take care of us when we are old? Oh no, the hesitation in their eyes. <laughs> Will you take care of us when we are old? I teach you. Yes. Yes. So I don't need to have children, right? You all will take care of us? Yes. Okay, anything else to say to Appa? We hope you're happy. We hope you're happy. Thank you for bringing me around. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right, same. You never push in your chair. This bitch. I need to push in my chair. Yes, you need to push in your chair. What kind of person are you? I just. What you gonna do with your so, they loan you all the stuff lah. Don't need to bring lah. <laughs> Doing. Oh, why? Ah! Why must I offer bigger? Ah! No, no. Ah! <laughs> we 
we have just sent the kids home to their mother's pond <laughs> and we are now going to some place in Changi to celebrate her mother's pond birthday. I'm so tired, oh my god, the whole day, I'm so tired. It's not physically tiring, I think. It's That's more of sleepy, yeah. I don't know how parents do it. Eh. Yeah, it's insane. I think one of the first few conversations we had about about whether we want to be parents, right, was that I think we realised, for us, we love bringing the kids out. We, we I, I hope the kids also enjoy them and bring them out, right? But you know, when we are done or we are tired or towards the end of the day, we'll return the kids there. And then we're just going to go back and do our thing. Whereas the the parents still need to wait for the kids to come back and shower the kid, then feed the kid. And that's if the kid wants to eat, eh, you know? Sleep. And now because they are kids, these spawns, two, two of them are probably one this year. The other one is probably five this year. Four. Probably four this year. So now the parents need to wake up at 5.45 or 6. <laughs> My God, I can't. Yeah. When we think about parenthood, I guess because of the people around us at first, we always think about the pregnancy, the first, um, the, the pregnancy that, that nine months, then tall, you know, then after that confinement, the first month cannot shower, la, very expensive, la, the checkup for that stuff. Oh, but I think the real test is when they primary one eh. Yeah. Then you worry about their exams. Yeah. About them making friends in school. But after a while, uh, if your child naughty, right, you can be more patient. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, la, yeah, you know what? I let it go lah. But when primary one, you can't just let it go with this, yeah. You know your child will fail in school or whatnot. Wow, scary. Fundamentally, I think Pat's family and my family are quite different. Very different, what do you mean? No, no, no. Okay, say real. I think your mother quite similar. But I think your mother was conditioned differently. But like can draw out one, you know? They were very welcoming, especially her siblings and all that stuff. Then it's actually just her dad that I was not sure whether he like don't like me or not. Which kind of understand also because like I'm some some boy that she bring home from school and whatnot. So he like, <laughs> I kind of get why he might be guarded. Then after a while, he realized, no, actually he just doesn't talk a lot. At the start, John was very affected. He always asked me, he like, is it your dad don't like me? Is it your dad don't like me? The thing is, I don't know. Because I don't even talk to my dad. <laughs> so I don't know if my dad like you or not. But I think after a few years where he realized that this is the guy that I'm going to marry, he became very okay with it all. And I remember during um, the time where we were talking about marriage and talking about um, how much, all the money and stuff. Yeah, he was very nice to think to tell me things like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we know uh, his family treat you very well. Uh, we are very sweet people. So that made me felt very reassured that my family is not thinking that they're going to get something from John's family. Uh. Like, they never had the intention. Uh, at this point, it sounds like my family is rich. No. <laughs> is that just but they might think so, yeah. But they might think so. Yeah. Then I think my dad is just a man with li with no words, uh. in fact, not even yeah. people, no words. <laughs> yeah. But over the years I think John won him over because he keep like offering about the dentures and then like whenever I go to my Nyangja and I start like niam him, right? John is the one that will step in to stop me. Then he always say my You dad. think he know? By the way, I'm head, I'm sure he know lah. Like wow, are you like Leo? Then then uh John the moment John talk, he know that I will stop talking. Uh. So I think deep down he's quite grateful for you lah. Uh oh. I think what was an interesting memory, right, was that because Pat and I we we had older siblings that got married before us, right? Our parents were quite laid back when we were getting married. So the both of us solo the whole thing and we decided like everything on our own, you know? And I think what was nerve-wracking, right, was... Which I did not expect it to be, to make me nervous, ah, was when my family meet her family to talk about her dowry. But actually, we already pre-decided, because, like, we are paying the dowry and, you know, usually in these situations, when how dowry came to be, right, guys, by the way, ah, is that the family pays the dowry. Hence, you can expect a bigger amount lah because you are dealing with people with like 20 30 years in the workforce not someone that may, like has been working for four years right then you're trying to demand like half their annual salary that kind of shit so i think both my parents knew that we are soloing the cost of the wedding so they also don't care what they expected right and i think it was quite nervous because i think it was the first formal dinner between um our parents and then I think it was quiet for the most part because <laughs> my family and her family really very different. But you can see my parents are 
Try. They really work very hard one. They are social lubricant. Uh. You can see they keep pumping, keep pumping. Uh. Dry already. Uh. Open up one can, one more can, pour again. Try again. Um, and then eventually, I think uh, Pat's mom cracked. Uh. I, I wasn't too afraid about the dynamic or like the chemistry because they're not going to see each other. And what, what matters most is that the impression of John towards my family and his family's impression of me. Lah. So I wasn't very affected whether they were click or not. It's just don't just don't hate each other. Right. Really. Just don't dislike uh, yeah, each other. So that's where we differ. I think growing up, I cannot. I must be like... All must love each other. Yeah, we must all love each other. All love, okay. <laughs> like, we demand. I demand love. It cannot be that you're okay to tolerate each other. Because after this, we're going to be family. And so family means something to me, you know, growing up. And so if now we're going to be family there, they're like, it needs to be two-way also, lah, I think. Ali, what was your first impression of Jonathan? Big size. That's all I can remember. Oh, so many years really. As in, as in muscular yeah, lah. Muscular lah, yeah. Muscular. Muscular lah, <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, do you think I would marry him? Yeah. I remember the I remember like how he asked you to be his girlfriend because I was the one opening the door. Correct. Yeah. Then you think I will marry him really? So yeah. when I when I witnessed that, I kinda of feel that yeah, this is the one already. Oh. But were you also there to witness the other ex boyfriends No. Oh okay. So yes, what do you was want? Not me, right? Which one of her ex boyfriends right you think had the highest chance? I don't remember her ex <laughs> I mean, don't name them. Good, I don't need, don't need. Please don't. <laughs> this is my sister, by the way. What's your first impression of John? A nice guy. You know that he wants to marry me, right? Are you worried? No. I feel no. that he's a man that you can depend on. Wow, okay, okay, okay. That's very strong testimony. Alright, oh, where is this girl going? Okay, you call me already or not? Hi, E. Never. Hi, E. 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 Okay, sneak a pet of my mother. Ali, eh? Yes. You think oh, Jonathan is a good girl? I think he's a good girl. Oh, but when he wants to kill me, you will be afraid. You will be afraid. Like, wow, this person is always angry. You choose the right person, you will be happy. Oh, because your husband is your husband. So you think he's a good girl? Yes, he's a good girl. 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 Oh, so you give him a score? 100 points. Okay, now for the special guest appearance. Pa, I ask you. When you know that Jordan is going to kill me, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you're a bit surprised. Why? You don't think he's going to kill me? I don't know. Oh, so you think she's a good girl? Yeah, of course. Of course, ah. For one hundred points, you get zero. Zero 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 zero. Wow, that zero point zero one is where? Zero point one, yeah. Oh, wow. How well do you think you know my sister? You are wearing the same color today. Yeah. We call each other, ah, but I saw what she wearing today before we. Oh. So when you first look at my sister, do you think we look alike? Last time, yeah. Last time, ah. Last time we were really very similar. Last time when I first saw her, before we even together. In secondary school that time, I saw her that time, I'm like... Jia Jia Bei Jiao Mei. You know last time my sister is a what? Miss what? Singapore something? Yeah. You're lucky leh, you got to get Miss something Singapore leh. Miss something 什么? 不知道 Miss 什么 Miss 这个十年往事不要提了 Okay, I'm gonna try to close off this episode myself. Overall, I feel that our family relationship on both sides are very manageable. We are very, very lucky to have uh, the parents that we have. And I'm very, very grateful um, for the connection that I have with John's family. It didn't take much for me um, to integrate into his family. And I feel that his parents and siblings were very welcoming of me when I first met them. So even up to today, uh, we actually visit his parents maybe once every two, three weeks and they never complain one. 
So they are not that kind that even though we stay so near, they don't expect us to visit them every week. But we ought to lah, huh? I should uh, try and uh, remind John more. And as for my family, I think my mom is a bit used to it already, even though I'm very, very ashamed to say it again. But um, I go back to my Niangjia maybe once a month. And it is always because if there's a celebration, if not, my sister will actually make the effort and take up the initiative to say that we should go back for dinner. I am quite surprised with the impression that my dad has of John especially, um, that he didn't think we were going to get married so soon and that we were too young. But we really dated for like, what, nine years. So that goes to show that we made very little effort to break the bond with him. But my father is not an easy person to break the bond with. Lah. Um, as for the kids, I think um, they kind of, I see them as my own and honestly, I feel that it's a blessing to us because um, now that we decided not to have kids, um, I really enjoy their company. I treat them like my own, even for my own nieces and I really enjoy my time with them. So some of the activities that you may want to try with kids um, if they are your godchildren or nieces and nephew, uh, Ice Magic is one, they are ending end of this month. They had a lot of fun at that place, even though it was just two slides and you know, some ice and snow. If not, most of the time we will bring them for ice cream dates. We bring them to arcade um, to just foster the bond a bit more lah, because we also see them maybe once every two, three weeks. And I hope our relationship will always stay this way. So I think setting the scene for your husband and wife to integrate with your family is very important because your own family may not know this person much. And now that, you know, he or she is coming into the family and they did not raise this person. Ma. So they also don't know this person's character or whatever not. And if you don't create enough opportunity for your husband or wife to shine within your own family, it's very hard for your own parents to see the greater good in, your, in the partner that you chose. So it's not like you need to convince them that, oh, this person is the one or whatever not, but at least create opportunities to let them foster a good relationship. Uh, create talking opportunities. Like when we go for dinner, don't try and say that like, oh, you go lost since it's your parents. Uh, then, then I will just stay at home. I think I have a very good example. Yesterday, right, John told me something very ridiculous. If you're hearing this, John, I just want to remind you again that he told me during uh, 2C, right, why don't we just split? And you go your 2C dinner with your family and then he go with his parents. What is he talking about? Like... Let me explain. She's very irritated by this because maybe it's the third, third year I'm bringing this up already. Right? Yeah, At and least. I hate it. And I want to say that it's important because whenever I feel like the thought process, right, or the conversation, whether it's between... Usually it's in, in the presence of your family that I bring this up. Yeah. Is that it's not really for you to hear, maybe 20% for you. 80% mm -hmm. is for your family to know that because our wedding was not very traditional, right? Yeah. In the sense whereby I didn't give them a lot of dowry and whatnot. And I assured them that they didn't lose their daughter, they gained a son. Mm. And so, whenever we talk about like Chinese New Year reunion dinner, and she's like, oh, I can't because I'll be with John's family, right? Mm. I always want to remind her and her family that we started this on a non-traditional route. Yeah. I'm not going to enforce only the parts that benefit me. Mm. Hence, I always want to put it out there that I'm okay if you go back to your family, but I still need to fulfill the duty of my family. Yeah. So I will be with my parents. Yeah. You will be with your parents. And there is no such thing as because you are a girl or woman, by default, you come to me and your parents lose you on Chinese New Year Eve. I just feel like I always need to remind everybody that I will be okay with that. And if you don't want to split up, I feel like that is your decision. But mine, from where I stand, is that I will not enforce that, hey, I'm, you have married, you have taken my last name, so Chinese New Year, you stay with my family. Okay, I think that's a very Fair, good, right? I think that's a good gesture. But what he don't see from my end is, my family will feel that he was a lot John Pell, like, you know, like, why is he not here? Why you are here alone? You are married, what? Like, shouldn't you all be a partner, like, yeah. be a team? And he, whenever he bring this up in front of his parents, his parents will then feel that, hey, no, no, never mind, you just go with Pat. Because everybody have the mindset that we should always be together as a couple. Like, if we decided to each go to our own side, and then 
it feels as though like we are not married and mm. then like they are the reason why we are separated. And I think that made them that will make them feel bad. But this is a very good example, you can't please everyone, huh? Yeah. Right? I mean the, what is the alternative? The alternative is I just follow the notion that because you are poor to the soy that no la what do you mean reunion dinner is at your family? Not possible. <laughs> I am the man. Cannot be what? <laughs> okay, sure, but I think there is ways to compromise also lah. So I'm not saying that she shouldn't allow me to go back. But what I'm saying is that find a date and we should always be seen together because we are considered one pair already. Okay, one last thing. I also think it's very, very important that you set a good impression of your partner to your own parents. Don't complain to, about your partner to your family or like discuss too in depth um, about your partner to your family because sometimes they don't understand the context. And I've heard stories before where, you know, things may not be as per what their own children is saying and their parents will just form their own impression and then subsequently, you know, the, the relationship will get soured. Lah. I think when you, be, when you get married, you and your husband or you and your wife are a team now. You will always stand together no matter what. Family is family, but those are extended to you now. That extended family because you and your husband you are considered one family and you know, one team so nobody should come in between that and i feel that it is very important to set boundaries of what your parents can control you to do the both of us we are rebellious leh. even though john don't think so lah, but i think that we are the rebellious one where we we are free to speak our mind to our parents and thankfully, they also can accept lah because they know this is our character. We will talk more about our wedding planning um, in the next episode when we celebrate our wedding anniversary. But um, yeah, we will leave more to that on how we actually come to terms with the dowry, um, the number of tables at the banquet, the ang paos and all. Okay, that's all for this episode. If you have any other questions or anything you would like us to discuss in the next few episodes, uh, leave them down in the comment section below. And if not, I will see you in the next one and I hope you will like, share and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!